Yeah, we're gonna make tomorrow's muesli. Right. Uh, yeah. Are you from? Who's not familiar with muesli? Like, there are two different kinds. There's uh, raw muesli, and then there's the stuff that you buy in a box that says Swiss muesli. But um, the raw one is always better. You know. So uh, I don't have the orange juice, but. So the base is always a grain. This is, I use organic rolled oats. These are the chunky ones. And uh, it's always good to soak your nuts and grains overnight because then the nutrients are more easily absorbable. Something like happens in the chemistry, you know, that disables something that makes some parts not so easily absorbable. Like Sally Feldman explains that really good in her book. So the price is a dollar thirty-nine a pound. That's about these are organic, and it's about uh, twice what you would buy if you buy them in the round paper containers, you know. But uh, the whole thing is five dollars and eighteen, so that's not so much for so much muesli. You know, this is gonna be. 60 to 80, you know, like if that's like what you, what you have for breakfast. We're gonna put some sunflower seeds in there, and uh, you can use any combination. You can go heavy on the grains or heavy on the nuts and seeds, you know, whatever. Almonds are also great when you soak them overnight and exactly. they have yeah. totally different texture in the morning. Yeah, they exactly. Kind of yeah, so juicier. I'm just going to use the almonds here and the muesli because they're already ground up. And a little more of those. And oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and yeah, a few uh, pumpkin seeds. More. Like, no, more, more, yeah, more. make it make it nice and easy. What do you mean by this Yeah, okay. So yeah, then uh these are cranberries. I have over wheat thing here, so you can put this in here. You can use some spell uh, or wheat berries. Just put in your Vitamix and uh, wind them up. And then we're gonna mix the whole thing. I think uh, cranberries. And then uh, where are the Oh, yeah, yeah, not those. Um, the cones I'm gonna chop up a little bit, you know, and then I'm gonna add some orange juice to this until it's like thin, kind of thin, you know, because it's gonna thicken overnight. You know, then I cover it up, put it in the fridge, and it'll be ready in the morning. So that, that's the muesli. And then another nice thing you can do is grate some fresh apple uh, in the morning. Put it, the fresh fruit in, in the morning. Top it with bananas. Uh, yeah, get creative. And this is a breakfast that stays <laughs> yeah. with you. You know, exactly. like you won't get yeah. hungry two hours later. It stays yeah. with you until Yeah, lunch. it's very filling. And it's great, you can pack it, you can uh, eat it at work. You know, like uh, it keeps in the fridge for about four days. And um, so if you make a batch for the week, you know, then it's really quick. So this is one of the myths, I don't have the time to eat healthy. As a matter of fact, you know, once you shift your thinking, then you'll realize it's actually not that much time. You can actually save time, you know, if you do it right. <laughs>